Today I'm going to talk about format function, about formatting numbers, how to show number in different formats. We've got user form and we've got price text box, got txt price, we've got discount text box called txt discount and we've got in stock text box called txt in stock. I've got some code already in place. Let's have a look. Our price it is gonna be 9999.99. Discount is 0 0.25 and in stock is set to 1. Let's try first example. TXT price, this is our text box, will equal and in here we are using format function. First argument is number, in our case it is gonna be price, this one. And second argument is format and in here we can use our own format or we can use Excel predefined format. In this case we are using general number predefined Excel format. General number means it displays a number without thousand separators. So let's have a look. And we've got 9999.99 without thousand separators. Let's try another example. This time we're going to use standard format. It displays the thousand separators, at least one digit to the left of the decimal place and two digits to the right of the decimal place. So if we delete, for example, dot nine nine, it, sh it still should show two digits to the right of decimal place. And we also should have thousand separator. So let's try and looks like it working. Let's try another example. This time we're, we are going to use fixed format. It displays at least one digit to the left of the decimal place and two digits to the right of decimal place. So let's try it. And we've got dot zero zero. We also haven't got thousand separator in here. And let's try now, let's try our own format. Our own format, it is 0, 0.00. 0. 0 is fourth digit. It means it will be shown always. Doesn't matter if we've got relevant digits or not. For example, if we type 9, 9 will go in here, but we still should see dot zero zero. So let's try it. And we've got 9.00. So that's correct. Hash mark is optional digit, unforced digit, which means if we haven't got relevant digits, for example, if we haven't got thousands, this won't appear. So let's type, for example, 9 and we've got 9.00. We haven't got this bit with thousand separator. But we, if we type, for example, 999, we should see thousand separator as well. Let's try another example. This time we are going to use currency format. We've got pound in here and we've got thousand separator as well. We can also use our own format. So let's try it now with dollar this time. And we've got dollar nine comma nine 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 dot zero zero. Let's try another text box and let's try percent predefined format. We've got twenty five percent 
and let's use our own format. Ah, oh, this is not the correct one. This one. And we've got 25% as well. And let's try in stock. In stock is set to one. We can show yes or no. It shows yes. Let's change it to be true false. Should show true. That's correct. And the third one is on off let's try it now and it says on 